Welcome to an Adventure Engine overview of how the users of the Adventure Engine system can program in how payments will be collected, both through the online shopping cart and it will also apply to when staff are accessing the system and processing a sale in the office. So here I'm on my basic demo tour and I can see I have lots of tabs here which I can use to customize this tour. For the purposes of this video we're going to take a look in the payment options. Now with the payment options we understand as tour operators you may vary how you're collecting money trip by trip and even seasonally. So the system allows you to program in a number of different ways that you can accept money from your clients either through the online shopping cart or in the office while you're taking a booking by phone. So let's run through some of the, the different options. The full payment option means that the customer has to pay the full amount at time of booking. As I move across the row, I can also set rules around how the full payment is acquired. I may request registration. And I may also program in cutoff dates. As you can see, when I hover over a lot of these tabs, I will also get explanations as I'm working on this online. We'll talk about cutoff dates shortly. Let's look at the rest of the payment types. We have a deposit by percentage. This means you can program in what percent of this tour customers need to provide to you at time of booking. If we want a payment or a fixed amount, we will go down to the next one. This is a deposit fixed amount by participant. So in this case, I would put in the dollar amount instead of a percentage. So I may say I need $100 in order for the client to do a deposit on this tour. Now there are a few other little features here, like tentative booking. What is a tentative booking? Well, tentative booking means that no money is taken at the time of booking. The booking is not confirmed and money is not exchanged until the supplier contacts the customer to confirm this booking. After the payment option is chosen, I click Add Payment option. So, what else do we have when we're taking a look at this? We have things like default. This means you choose one payment option to be the default. All other options will show in the payment options drop down when a customer is paying online. This section here, Required Registration, we check this off if we want to force the customer to create a username and password. This is important to do if you plan to offer the opportunity for customers to come back, log in online, and pay their own balance owing when it is due. This saves tour operators a lot of time and is very convenient for the customer. We also have the option to create a cutoff. Enter the number of days before deposit is not accepted and the full payment will be collected. The days are calculated from the tour start date. To make bookings tentative only after a certain cutoff period, simply add the tentative option in addition to a full payment or deposit option, or both, and include a cutoff date. For example, if the cutoff date on the full payment option is 10 days and the tentative option has been added, then if a customer books within 10 days of the trip start date, the booking will only be processed as tentative and no payment will be collected until the supplier confirms the booking can be accepted. Please note, when you are programming cutoffs, they must be the same for both the deposit and the full payment. So let's make sure ours are the same. Tentative must be added as an option in order for the cutoff program to have effect. So again, we need to ensure that we have tentative selected. So what is this box here that says hidden? We may want to program payment options that are only available when our staff is using the system. What this means is I may choose to hide the fixed amount participant, for instance, from the online shopping cart. So when the customer gets to the website and goes through the process of booking a trip and gets to the payment option drop down, they will only see full payment or deposit. Only my staff will be able to see the ones that I've clicked as hidden when they're accessing the Adventure Engine system from the virtual terminal. 
the balance due, we enter the amount of days before the remaining balance of the tour is due. This is calculated from the tour start date. Beautiful thing about the Adventure Engine system is you can also automate an email receipt, an email notification that will go out to the client prior to the trip. So in this case, 14 days before trip departure, you can program in an email that will go out to the client and request that the balance do be paid. If you have ensured that they've registered when they did their deposit, it will send them a link that they can go to and log in and pay down that deposit anytime at all with their credit card. We also have the option to allow split payments, which means different members of the trip can pay their balances separately. We'll talk about this in a different video. Lastly, of course, we also want to ensure that we've entered the amount, and this would either be the percentage amount or the dollar amount. At any time, I can come in and edit these payment options. I can remove them by clicking the Recycle box, and when I'm done with my editing, I will click to Save. We hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions about this feature and are currently a customer of Adventure Engine, please contact us at clientcare at adventureengine.com. We're here to provide you support free of charge for as long as you're using the system to ensure that you're getting the most out of it. If you're new to the idea of Adventure Engine, you can contact us at www.adventureengine.com for a free demo about this type of feature or hundreds of other features that this amazing online reservation system provides. We look forward to working with you further.